Well, for us, I think what we've most innovated with has been our kettle sours. Uh, kettle sours can sometimes come across as a little bit uh, one-dimensional. Uh, so to kind of get around that and add more interest to our kettle sours, we've looked to um, use kind of complementary herb and fruit fruit additions. So uh, I think uh, we first kicked this off with a passionata, which is yeah, a kettle sour, four point four percent, and we use um, passion fruit, but we also use hibiscus which adds kind of another layer of um, fruitiness and acidity as well. So from that, we kind of bounced on to um, sangria sour, which was a, a great idea that my former colleague, Sean McLean, came up with. A little bit tongue in cheek, because obviously we're, we're not, we're a mixed group of guys, um, British, American, Ukraine, Argentinian, Catalan. And so the idea was that, you know, the giddies, that would come up with uh, a sangria sour idea. It's, that's a combination, again, of fruit and some kind of woody spices, just to give the suggestion that perhaps um, the barrel's been involved. And also there are people that, that prepare sangria sour with you know, cinnamon and, and nutmeg and anise and that kind of thing. So we played around a, a little bit with that. What we're doing right now, um, which is something that we've finally got around to, and that's to hook up with a, a local winery, and that's that's a project that I'm really, really excited about where we we're actually, we'll start using the great must, but I'm looking forward to, to using um, other kind of byproducts of, of winemaking in, in our beers. So yeah, I think to begin with, kettle sours with, with fruit, kind of inspired by cocktails. We've also done a pina colada sour with pineapple and coconut. And subsequently, what did we do? Oh, we've brought Pacharan to the festival. So Pacharan's inspired by um, a drink, particularly from the north of north of Spain, which is primarily macerated slow berries, but then with other kind of herbal, uh, even coffee coffee grains are used. So, um, but yeah, that's the fun we've had so far. But moving forward, grape ales, working with uh, local wineries.